What's up beauties, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got two new videos for you guys and in this video, I'm gonna share all my tips and tricks for achieving the perfect photo ready hair. So I used to model, if you guys didn't know. A lot of times for photo shoots, especially if you're doing them professionally, they will ask for your hair to come clean and ready to go. But in my experience, I like to just have my hair ready to go anyway so that the hairstylist only had to touch it up if needed. So this is my go-to look for honestly everything. It looks gorgeous all day long through the shoot. Even when the curls fall, it looks so pretty. So if you wanna know how to achieve this look, keep on watching. So today's hair is from I Am Beauty. They are located in Chicago. I will have a link to the this unit as well as all of I'm Beauty's links in the description box below. Um, if you are in the Chicago area, they do have a huge store there that you can shop. So you drop, you know, they've got hair, they've got jewelry, which you guys have seen on Instagram. They also have these gorgeous foaming lashes, which I've worn, I've worn two of them already. These are the other three that are left and they're super cute. So as you can see here, the hair did come in a nice body wave texture and the hair was really nice, very silky, very soft. Um, but I did notice it did have a little bit of a wig smell, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Now, when you are doing professional shoots, a majority of the time, almost all the time, they're gonna ask you to come to set with uh, freshly clean hair. and my girls you know sometimes that throws off our wash day but it's fine that's why we have wigs so now before washing it I did want to go in and pluck the or pluck the parting space a little bit which I messed up and then I like redid a whole other part but the baby hairs and stuff in the front looks pretty good I did go ahead and pluck those as well just so they were looking a little bit thinner but you'll see in a second I just changed up everything I did. So um, yeah, I did go ahead and do the hairline, a little bit of the parting, and then it was time to wash. So to wash the unit, I did use my Eva NYC shampoo and conditioner. This is part of their newer collection. It's the Lazy Jane Air Dry Shampoo and Conditioner. Now I feel like their whole purpose of the air dry collection was so once you finish washing and conditioning your hair, you don't have to worry about putting other products in it or anything like that. You can go, let your hair air dry, you're good to go, which I definitely noticed on my natural hair. My curls were like, hey girl, good morning. They were cute. So I did go ahead and straighten the unit first before I went in to curl it and everything like that. But I did want to use some products before getting started on those. You already know another Eva NYC product. This is the 10 in one main magic primer best hair primer. This is actually the only hair primer I've ever tried, but best hair primer. That helped add some shine back in the hair. But then I also used the Way Wave Spray, you guys. Y'all know, I tell y'all I love this stuff. It's almost out too. Um, I like using this just so that the curls do hold. And like I said, we are doing a long lasting photo ready style. So you do want the curl slash. So for curling today, I actually went in with a wand that I've had for quite some time, but this is my first time using it ever. I don't know why. I never used this before. I think I like underestimated its power to be honest, but this is from InStyler. This whole barrel right here is made out of woven ceramic fibers and then it's wrapped in a ceramic coating. What's cool about this wand is that it has a built-in heat protectant in it. So even though I did use two products prior to curling the hair, they weren't heat protectors. So I like this because it has the heat protectant in it, which I definitely noticed when curling my hair. Normally when using a straightener or any other curling wand, you can kind of like almost see the hair burn. <laughs> Um, but it's you've definitely got a whole different feel with this, which I really like. The wand does go up to 400 degrees, which is what I did today, and I just curled all around the hair. Now, when achieving a style similar to this, you don't want to curl the strands all the way to the end. So as you can see, while I'm curling it, I'll curl the strand that I'm working on, but then when I get to the end, I kind of just leave it straight because that's kind of what I want. I want the body here, kind of straight down here, um, because if you don't, you're definitely gonna get more of a Shirley Temple vibe, which is cute. She's cute, but that's not the look we're going for so make sure you do leave those ends straight and hanging um, and if you do feel like you've curled too much you can just go in with a straightener if you want and just like straighten the ends a little bit now at this point after I've curled all around the hair I'm not gonna go in and comb through the hair or run my fingers through it or anything yet because you want to do that kind of like your very last step so I did just go in with some hairspray and I sprayed it to death we are gonna spray it again I just sprayed all the curls as they're still locked in their initial curl next is something you definitely don't have to do but I feel like a lot of photographers hate having to deal with editing wigs that's like one of their number one pet peeves when it comes to editing. If your wig's not laying flat, they gonna be a little mad at you. So what I like to do is just cut a V right there where the part is and then have my natural hair coming out. So it's like a little bit of a leave out, not really, it's literally two strands. When you glue that on, it makes it look a little bit more natural so that 
you know, the photographer is not mad at you for having to edit a lifting wig. So like I was saying, I just left two little antennas out nothing major and I put the wig on my head lined up that middle part and I just used my got to be sprayed to hold that down that's literally all I did that's all I normally do when I know it's about to be a more professional shoot I will glue the whole wig down but if it's just something that Lee's shooting for me for Instagram I know I'm not about to have a Beyonce fan and nothing's gonna be blowing back so it's fine I normally just glue right there after you glued it down we are almost done this is when I do take my wide tooth comb comb through all the hair, see how it's looking. This is where you're gonna see that you might wanna touch up some pieces. So I just went in with my Sarah Silk again and just found some strands that I wanna add a little bit more body to, curled them, and again, leaving those ends thin. Another tip is to kinda tug on the strand that you're curling, um, just so that it's not looking super, super tight. It's okay if they're tighter. I mean, when they fall, they're still gonna look pretty, but I do like more of a loose wave look. I feel like that just goes with everything. So don't play with it too much. Let the curls do their thing let them last out the day but you are gonna want to spray it like your life depends on it I first just took two little pumps two shots of that no two little pumps of the rose hair and body oil as you can see I've had this for like a year and still only that much is gone you do not need a lot of this stuff but I just used a little bit of that to scrunch the hair um, to add a little bit more shine shine looks beautiful especially if you're doing natural lighting photos so a little bit of that. And then I used my Got To Be High Insta Hold Spray again and sprayed it like my life depended on it, girl. Like I, I sprayed, you wanna spray. And that is the final look. You are ready for your photo shoot. You gonna look cute. As the curls fall throughout the day, throughout the shoot, they still look absolutely beautiful. So this is my go-to and I 10 out of 10 recommend. So if you guys want to check out I Am Beauty for this unit or any of their similar units, I've got them linked in the description box below. Also be sure to check out their socials and their store in Chicago if you are Chicago based. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.